what's going on everyone welcome back to another video i'm jackie shea just in case you're new here and happy monday so in the fishing community on social media we love to refer to mondays as mahi mondays so today is monday so i'm making it a mahi monday for you and i'm going to pull out some of my old footage of some of my favorite moments mahi fishing because uh for the longest time mahi was my favorite fish to catch it's the fish that got me hooked on fishing and even still to this day i think it is one of the most magnificent fish fun to fight they're acrobatic they're beautiful and i just always have a good time you can keep them and eat them fix my hair it's a little crazy today so if you can also see behind me i'm sure you've noticed it by now is my beautiful bull mahi mount that is hanging above my bed. I wanted to review it for you today because um, I work very closely with uh, the mount this.net fish mount company. Love their mounts. I have a ton of them in my house so I'm going to be recording some review videos of them for you because I, I think um, everyone loves a fish mount. I don't know who doesn't. I pretty much want every type of fish mounted in my house. What's not to love about a beautiful big bull mahi mount? And I think it makes such a statement in my room. So real quick, watch some of these old mahi fishing faves and I'll get back with you soon and talk to you about my bull mahi mount. Yeah, really. Go hold it up fast. Go hold it up fast. You got him. Keep that side for the for camera. This is the pretty side. That oh, side's that's silver, yeah. There you go. Nice one. I'll get some pictures too. Nice. Okay. Back. We got our first fish in St. Croix. A nice little mahi. Yeah, you could. Let's do Don't lay it on that side. Don't lay it on that side. That's the pretty side. Oh, I'll hold it. Look at the little cloudfish that came out of its mouth. Oh, shit. Yeah, what's that? A bat. Cruising special. <laughs> what does that do? That night night juice. The night night juice. <laughs> Look, he's giving him the Persian special. <laughs> so what does that do? It just makes him go to like stop flipping around? Yeah, it's, it's got alcohol, you know, high alcohol, throw it in his gills and really? go night night. Well, he went night night or she. Boys running like right over here, right in that little. Dude, that reminds me. I, I didn't. Hello. Yeah, you haven't really been on this side. I'm gonna take you over. Yeah. We'll troll over to Sandy Point. Hello? Okay, cool. You there? off the day with just this one mahi, but we we're trying for swordfish. Two days. Two days. Two days on the boat. I gotta oil it every other day. Wow. Every day.
This nice cow right here. Go for a down and, and fish for a second. These are bigger. Oh, oh, oh my god. Eat it, eat it. Yes. Oh, oh man. Just caught this nice bull on the Maverick. <laughs> Woohoo! 480 feet of water. 480 feet of water. <laughs> Look at this thing. Go! <laughs> Happy 4th of July! Putting Jackie Shea on some nice fish out here. Oh yeah. She rigged it. We caught the ballyhoo. We rigged Woo. the ballyhoo. We trolled the ballyhoo. Well done, Jackie. Yeah. Get Such fun times catching mahi um, all over the place. I've been down to the Keys, different parts of Florida, out of Venice, St. Croix, um, geez, I can't even, the Bahamas. So actually, my bull mahi mount is actually representative of my personal best bull mahi, which I caught down in the Bahamas out of Hopetown. I saved the best moment for last, my biggest bull mahi. This fish was so big, it broke the latch on the fish box. Check it out. All right, I gotta get the center rigger in. This one's a big fish. It's a big fish. Alright, so good times. I gotta say, I love going back on old footage and looking at all the fun memories and all the good times I've had fishing with friends, especially mahi fishing. So now for the mount. I am not 100% sure the measurement of this bowl mahi, but I will put it on the screen right here. I'm gonna look it up after I finish recording this video. I have a king size bed, so it fits beautifully above my king size headboard. So let me show you. So that is Kind of like the front view. Really, oh my gosh, it just really makes such a statement in my room. I think it is so perfect and I love it. Also, one cool thing about this mount is that it's actually a half mount. So you can see back there, it's hollow. But um, since I have such a small room, I don't know how big my room is, but it is quite small. You know, there's a wall right here. so. No like no one's ever really standing right here and like looking behind my mahi <laughs> to see if it's a full mount. I really prefer having the half mount over a full mount because my room is so small. The half mounts are much more flush to the wall so that they don't stick out so far and they don't kind of invade your space and take over and make you feel like crowded or you know like caved in and make the room feel smaller. It actually really helps keep the room feel open 
and I really love that about the half mounts. So if you have like lower ceilings or smaller rooms, I highly recommend styling with a half mount because it will not take up so much space and it will keep the room feeling as big and open as possible. Let me go into the close up because this thing is just stunning. Let me show you. So I've had this mount for a few years now. I'm not exactly sure, at least four or five years it must be now. Um, and it still looks, you know, like brand new. I, I only dust it maybe, you know, once every six months. I really don't dust this very often. I just take a, a lightly damp rag and wipe it. It's not bad at all, but check out the detail. Such a realistic, beautiful finish. I love even the scale detail. It looks like it's got like real scales. I love the way the fins designed on the end and the tail is just beautiful. So that is my review of my Bull Mahi mount. I am so happy with this product. So I definitely encourage you to go check out mountthis.net. Specialize in any type of fish you want. I'm pretty sure they even have things like sea turtles, octopus, like I don't, I don't know, but they have different kind of stuff too, not just fish. Also Troy and the crew, they do custom work as well. So the link to the website will be in the description box below. So be sure to check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video.